Thank you for watching this week's Tip of the Week. I'm Phil Baylor. I've been in the industry since 1985, so it'll be 40 years next year that I've been in the hardscape business. And I'm Caleb Baylor, and I've been in the industry for about 15 years, running crews. Um, it's always been exciting, but definitely this time of year, we've got challenges. It's hot, right? Temperatures 90, 100 degrees, depending on which part of the country you're in. And even in New England here, we've had an extremely wet year. So how do we combat these challenges between heat and weather, wet, it's time to grind, time to make money as a contractor, and obviously trying to retain those guys And this hot weather is very difficult. We always had a challenge in that, so now we kinda wanna walk through some of the stuff that we've seen through Instagram and some of the contractors and some of the solutions they've come up with, and uh, we're gonna get to watching that. Sounds exciting. So, the machine package A2, this is a great product. I've seen a couple of those jibs and that's that's really neat what contractors do with those and then using it with our suction be able to set such a far distance. It's pretty unique. Yeah. And obviously our EST handle package, a D3, being able to use it. Use it with your air compressor. Again, just being able to pick that product, you're not worried. You look at that situation, that's a major finger pincher. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Some of these larger slabs, the VacMax Ergo XL package, I can see that being obviously user friendly. I think those weigh about 103 pounds a piece, right, or something. This They're over 100 pounds, and yeah, this is definitely a, a major back saver right here. You can see these guys hustling through this job project, and not a lot of bending, but a lot of uh, using product from with the proper tools are eliminating a lot of that pain. Yeah, especially like I said, those those. Big slabs, man. I mean, our guys always had a competition to see if they could lift them by hand by themselves, but <laughs> they were usually smart. shot by the end of the day, and it was definitely not worth it. They would tell you at the end of the day that was not worth it. So, so the Vac Max Ergo XL, this is a great package. I'll tell you, the backpacks have really uh, taken off in our industry, and some people prefer them because you have, um, you know, you have the weight on your back, and also you're carrying weight on the front. In this picture, the video that just passed there, just extracting the pavers using the suction before you sweep in, they must have had yeah, one chipped, which there was kind it of a unique. chip there, and that's pretty cool. High Flow 200E, another real simple tool. This is the simplest of suction equipment for large slabs. You plug it in and you're off and running. And you also can use that with a generator uh, holder that holds uh, houses the generator right on top of it. And that's so a pretty even cool option. The, the so you have no cord you're worried about. That's pretty unique. A1, this is one of my favorites right here, running off a simple 18 volt battery, being able to get that product in the ground so easy and so quickly. Uh, these, were, these were projects that were almost impossible to do efficiently just with wrapping straps, same thing used here yeah, on big stepping stones. Steps. But I mean, you remember those days, you were straps, a little kid then, but jacking and stuff up. And, and Always chip in the face. Yeah. It seemed to be replaced more than we ever installed. It seemed like just using a using a pinch bar. They call them a pinch bar for a reason. You're always pinching something, <laughs> and so it chips a lot of times too. That was kind of our biggest thing. When you go to pull that bar out or using forks, it chips a lot of times. Especially a hard granite chips really easily. Yeah, and I mean just slinging these slabs like this. It obviously. We never, you know, back in the day, you were doing it by hand and you'd have two guys or three guys on either side or trying to use like forks on an excavator to do it with, with stuff like this and being able to pick it with excavators and set it in place. I mean, what a time saver. And by the end of the day, these guys are excited to continue on. Yeah. If you have life after work, to me, that's success. Yeah. You know, being able to have, a, have enjoyment after work, just amazing. Even this, just a simple 180 clamp, being able to pick those step treads or the wall products. He's maxing there. out this clamp, I would say, <laughs> using the 180 for those big, uh, big pieces. But you can see even that our tools are well built. This is a wave of the future for sure. The multi six, probably one of my favorite up and coming products that we've been uh, promoting, and yet we look forward to promoting it real heavily. You look at what these. Uh, Folks are installing I mean, here in it a looks permeable like they're application. Doing it fast because they got it in high speed, but in reality, I bet this is, I don't know, what did you say, 3,000 3, square feet? They probably yeah. did that in half a day. Right. You know, it's incredible. Which you can install, you know, over five, you know, 50 pallets in a day with that machine over that. 
absolutely insane. When you get into clamping devices like this, this is our 980, just a great all round clamp for getting products in the ground. BL3000, a little bit bigger clamp. This one here, again, for those big steppers. I'm not even sure. How, we used to do that by, you know, bringing, making a big ramp down in, right? And then excavating more than we needed to just to get those first steps yeah. in, and then we'd work our way up. Whereas this, these clamps have obviously changed that. They've been able to start at the bottom and even work their way up and not have to over excavate, Right. you know? It's a lot more delicate, a lot more efficient. You're saving a lot of time. As you look at this with stairs and whatnot, this is amazing. Yeah, coming up a hillside like that, those are no fun to work on steep and never mind trying to get a set of forks right. underneath and trying to bring down. And some of those steps probably weigh, you know, it's, a thousand pounds. It's yeah. neat to see, uh, you know, contractors using our, our tools to speed up, you know, their processes, increase efficiencies and this is great to see this awesome content. Yeah. Guys excited about and this. This is just projects. a small fraction of what we see out there every day. So yeah, but we really appreciate you watching our tip of the week. Make sure to uh, go to our website, pavetool.com. You can sign up there for our tip of the week. You can also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.